Sugod na ta! Chapter 2, Problem Number 10 At a certain location, wind is blowing steadily at 10 meters per second. Determine the mechanical energy of air per unit mass and the power generation potential of a wind turbine with 60 meters diameter blades at that location. Take the air density to be 1.25 kilogram per cubic meter. So the wind is blowing steadily at a certain velocity. The mechanical energy of air per unit mass and the power generation potential are to be determined. So first, let us draw an illustration. So let's say this will be your turbine. Your turbine has blades of 60 meters. So that's the diameter of your turbine. Your velocity. Which is equal to 10 meters per second. So this would be the velocity of wind. Then you have the density of air is given as the rho is equal to 1.25. Or the density of air is equal to 1.25 kilogram per cubic meter. So as seen in the illustration, kinetic energy is the only form of energy or the only form of mechanical energy the wind possesses since the direction of the wind is only on horizontal motion. So to solve for your mechanical energy per unit mass, so that is equivalent to your kinetic energy expressed in kilojoule per kilogram. So your kinetic energy is equal to the velocity squared divided by 2. So substitute the velocity of the wind, so that is 10 meters per second, quantity squared, divided by 2. Then convert it in kilojoule kilogram, so that is equivalent to your 1 kilojoule per kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 square meters per second squared. So you have 10 squared divided by 2 times 1 over 1,000. So you will have 0 0.050 kilojoule kilojoule per kilogram. Now, to solve for your power generation potential, your power generation potential is equivalent to the mechanical energy rate. Your mechanical energy rate is equivalent to the mass flow rate times the mechanical energy per unit mass. While your mass flow rate is equal to the air density times the average velocity times the cross-sectional area. So for your cross-sectional area, as the wind blows through your turbine, your blades create a circular motion. So, your cross-sectional area is equal to pi d squared over 4, or the area of a circle. So, substitute. So, you will have mass flow rate is equivalent to the density of air is 1.25 kilogram per cubic meter times the velocity of the wind, which is equal to 10 meters per second times the cross-sectional area so that is pi times 60 quantity squared divided by 4 so this is 60 meters so your mass flow rate is equal to 1.25 times 10 times pi times 60 squared divided by 4 so that is equivalent to 35,300 42.92 that is kilogram per second. So substitute your mass flow rate and your mechanical energy per unit mass. So you have your power potential or your power generation potential is equivalent to the mass flow rate that is 35,342.92 kilogram per second times your mechanical 
energy per unit mass so that is 0.050 kilojoule per kilogram so you will have the power generation potential is equal to 35,342.92 times 0 0.05 so that is equal to 1,767.12 kilo per second your kilojoule per second is equivalent to kilowatts so therefore your power generation potential is equal to 1767.12 kilowatts so that would be the actual generated power of your wind turbine